Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my first ever Nespresso slash coffee slash syrup haul. My first, my first coffee haul because I like to let like my um, collection of pods and syrups dwindle down to almost nothing before I place an order so I can make like one big order and refill everything. And so that's what today's video is all about. So I will have my Nespresso playlist on my channel linked in the description box. Maybe post it up here. If you're interested in more of my coffee videos, Videos. I decided to start doing more coffee videos in 2023 because it's just something that brings me joy to talk about and I really hope that y'all enjoy it on this channel. That's it guys. We have a, a lot to talk about so let's just go ahead and dive on in. So this haul is a little different um, than any of my other Nespresso hauls that I've done for myself um, because I have really learned about my coffee preferences, um, what I like, the pods I like, the pods that I've learned like are really good to make new um, recipes with and stuff. So um, first off, let's just talk about Malazio because I have three of these. So currently Malazio, Malazio, whatever I call it, it's gonna come out different every time I say it. I don't even know which one is correct. But Malazio, <laughs> Malazio. <laughs> currently this is my favorite pod. So um, for the longest, this one and Stormio were my two favorites. And it was because I couldn't really tell that much of a difference between Stormio and Melozio. Um, and I don't know, here recently, um, one of my best friends has been really into this pod. So I've been really giving this one a try and like trying different syrups and creamers with it. And I don't know, it clicked. I just, my taste buds realized that Stormio is definitely a lot more darker of a roast than Melozio. Um, this one is definitely a medium roast, so it has that lighter um coffee flavor and aroma um it's not as bitter um i do love stormio and i just feel like i go through periods of time where like i prefer this pod over this pod and this one over this one and um like let me know down in the comments are you the same way or do you like your coffee one single way all year round because i definitely have seasons of where i like these certain coffee drinks and this one and this one so um i have been on the biggest like hot coffee kick ever since I got this machine and I learned that like, I just prefer hot coffee. I love iced coffee as well, but hot coffee just wakes me up more in the morning. But I've been on a Malazio kit. I got three of these sleeves. And so this one is a coffee size pod. Um, the coffee pods are my favorites, the 7.7 .7 fluid ounces. Um, this one has a strength of six, or it, it's intensity. On the website, um, the intensity is six. Um, this one, this is, does it, do these have a description? Let's see. Um, you can't help but fall for Melozio. It's a harmonious blend of fine quality Brazilian bourbon and Central American Arabica, Arabicas, lightly roasted to create a rounded coffee that is smooth and perfectly balanced. It's just a very delicious pot. So, got me some three of those and that will last me. A good bit i always do these like a big orders of coffee pods so that they'll last me like two or three months i don't know like it's just so it's so satisfying to like refill my coffee drawer from empty so satisfying um up next i got two sleeves of the vivita pod and at first i actually didn't think that i liked this pod um this is a newer one it's the one that has um some it has vitamin b12 to help support immune health um, and this one is definitely a lighter to medium roast, but at first I didn't know if I liked it. I don't know if I was using the wrong creamer with it or what. I think at first I tried making it with, um, like as a white mocha 
with my Starbucks white chocolate mocha creamer and peppermint syrup. It was really bitter to me. I don't know. But then um, Brie just kept telling me that she loved this and um, that it was very smooth and delicious. And so I kept trying it with different things. And I actually tried making it with the cookie butter syrup that I have right here. You actually might have saw this in my last video. But I have a lot of this left. And so I was like, I need to continue using this up. And I loved it with the Vivita pod. Um, I also used it with the sweet cream creamer. So maybe I just didn't like it with the white chocolate mocha. I don't really know. Um, but this one, I got two of these. I love the packaging. Like, isn't that just so pretty? This is also a coffee sized pod. Um, it says, uh, Nespresso Vivita invites you to a coffee ritual where the smooth taste of fine Latin American Arabicas meet the benefit of vitamin b12 vitamin b12 helps support immune health complemented by the blends bourbon variety beans luxurious cereal note vivita is your treat for a great day um rich in vitamin b12 with each serving gives you 20 percent of the recommended daily value Ooh, i didn't know that so um the intensity level of this one is also at six and it's a coffee size pod so 7.7 .7 fluid ounces um but i really i really like this one i think i might make me one of these today last but not least for the coffee size pods i got me another sleeve of the ice forte and the only reason why i got only one of these right now is because like i said like i prefer hot coffee i just i just do um and i tend to use this one as my hot coffee whenever I'm starting to really dwindle down on like my pods. That's what I've been actually drinking this hot for the last couple of days. Um, it is really good hot. It's a dark roast. It reminds me more of Stormio whenever it is hot. But of course, this is Ice Forte. It's actually made to be um, brewed um, over ice. So I prefer this one over the Ice Leggero because I prefer coffee pods. I like my drinks to taste more like coffee, less like the milk or the creamer or the syrups in it. Um, I just prefer more of a coffee taste. And so I've learned that I love the coffee size pods more. So I actually brew the ice forte straight into my hyper chiller, which I will have linked down below on my Amazon storefront. But, um, and then I use it in the hyper chiller and that's what I actually pour over the ice and then add my creamer and my syrup. 7.7 um, .7 fluid ounces. It's made to be over iced. Um, this one is it says, enjoy the intense taste of Barista Creations Ice Forte in a refreshing coffee over ice. South American Arabicas mixed with the Indonesian and Ethiopian Arabicas to offer an impactful aroma, or aromatic experience. Dark roasted and ground specifically for a delicious coffee over iced. Um, like I said, dark roast. I prefer this one over iced other than Ice Leggero. Ice Leggero is just a little bit too light for me. It kind of gets lost um, in the, in you know, like the creamers and, or the milk and uh, the syrups. Um, that's just my personal preference. But if you are a hot coffee girl and you are out of your hot coffee pods and you have some Ice Forte, try this because it definitely does the trick whenever you're whenever you're waiting on your coffee order to arrive. So this is actually the last sleeve that I bought. This is the, um, what is it? Bianco Dopio. Again, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly. Um, this one is the newest one in the Barista Creations. It's made for milk. Um, this one I believe replaced um, Bianco Leggero. Um, we also had a Bianca Forte and isn't that, I think that might have a new name or a new blend. I don't really know, but I'm, from what I remember in like Facebook groups that I follow, um, that this one was made to replace the Bianco Leggero. Um, this one is a double espresso pod. So this one, what does it say? It only says cappuccino and latte, latte macchiato on the sleeve, but this is a double espresso. Um, I got this as a sample um, in my last coffee order, so I wanted to try it out. And I actually prefer this over Ice Leggero for lattes. So whenever I'm making a latte, I always make them iced. I personally don't care too much for hot lattes because I just want more coffee flavor. It's too small of a cup. I want a big cup of coffee. I don't even know if I'm making any sense. You know what? Honestly, I haven't even had my cup of coffee this morning because I told myself that I needed to do this video and my reward for doing this video first thing in the morning would be to make my coffee. 
that I wasn't going to open up this box. I wasn't going to open up any of these sleeves until I made this video. So I'm a little tired because we haven't been sleeping well in this house. Um, but this one is the newer one. I really liked the sample, so I wanted to grab it and try um, to make more iced lattes with it. It says, we crafted this coffee as the match for your longer milky treats. An aromatic blend of light roasted arabicas from Kenya, Colombia, Nicaragua. Our signature split roast develops delicious caramel notes and a smooth texture in Bianco Doppio for milk. It's the coffee that pairs beautifully with milk in your larger cappuccinos and flat whites. Ooh, I didn't know I had caramel notes. Ooh, I'm excited. So I'm, I'm going to play around with it too. Um, I, I feel like if I'm going to use a double espresso for hot drinks, like I'm going to use two double espressos and then that's just using two pods. So I just think that this is going to be a really great iced latte pod for me personally. Um, but then last but not least, we got the sample pack. And I'm really happy that they sent me the one for the Vertiro machine because I was... I like usually we're able whenever we're checking out you're able to click whether you want the samples for the original line or the material line and it didn't give me that option so i was like hoping like please don't send me a pack of original capsules because i i can't use them because i only had the material machine um uh, but they did good so i got a sample of the mexico pod which i know i really like um I haven't I just went through these and I've just been wanting to try new things so I didn't order me any more of these but then I also got a, one of the Ethiopia this is a Grand Lugo Lungo Grand Lungo um, pod and I actually saw somebody say that if you um, if like double espressos are not enough for you when making lattes and stuff to try a Grand Lungo because it's like I think that this is from what I believe it is like a double espresso but brewed longer to make it a bigger coffee drink so i'm excited to try this um there are no details oh yes there are so the e ethiopia pod it says floral and delicate a medium light roast that reveals the distinct flowery aromatics of the signature dry process arabica in this blend so this is a 5.07 fluid ounce pod um, it has an intensity of four and then the mexico pod is intense and spiced the arabica robusta blend marked by an uncommon double washed robusta from mexico that delivers a wild textured cup um, the mexico pod is a coffee size so it's 7.7 .7 fluid ounces and it has an intensity level of seven um this one definitely has intense flavor i really like the mexico one so got me a sample pack okay last but not least i actually also ordered some more syrups so um i um made it a mission to like go through the syrups that i had so that i could order pods and syrups at the same time for this video um, i'm still currently using the monin cookie butter um, with sweet cream creamer and then I also still have a few I got these for Christmas One of my best friends got me a pack of the little friends coffee syrups for Christmas and I've been loving them by the way um, So it's just been so exciting to try new things without like, buying a big bottle of syrups um, But I got new ones. So all three of these are actually new to me and they're all sugar free so um this is a big deal to me because in my life i never thought i would go sugar free with anything um and the last time that we had covid in august of 2022 um the only thing covid has ever taken like from me smell or taste wise is the taste for sodas like dr peppers cokes um they just became so bland to me and it kind of felt like a chore to make myself drink one every day because i knew that i needed a, I, knew, I knew i needed to coke every single day like a soft drink whatever it was at least one i'm really great at just drinking water coffee and then one tree of a coke a day um but it just was just it just really took my taste for it so in november um i started reading on the the diet cokes the coke zeros you know just zero sugar soft drinks and i know no soft drink is good for you i know those have artificial sweeteners in it but i've just been trying my best to be better about the sugar like actual sugar that i'm you know putting into my body i've been trying to be better with what i'm actually ingesting um in my foods in my drink and 
so I started um, drink I just started diets and zeros the zero sugar drinks and like I'm not too worried about all the artificial sweeteners because I know too many artificial sweeteners over time is not good for your gut but like I said I drink like maybe one a day and I don't think over like, I don't think I drink enough for it to be um, even more harmful to my body than sugar um, but I started on diets and zeros zero sugars drinks um, since November and I literally haven't missed a real dr pepper i have not missed a real coke a real soda period i actually enjoy these more i don't know if it was covid i don't know if i'm just growing up i don't know but it's a big deal for me it's a very big win for me because i never thought in a million years that i would do that like i try really hard to look at the ingredients of like my coffee creamers like i only use like real milk and cream creamers um I've really stayed away from the like original coffee mates and the international delights. I've just been trying to be more aware again of what I'm putting into my body. Um, I'm 28 now and I don't know if that's just, I don't know if I've just hit a milestone and I'm growing up or what, but I'm proud of myself. So I told myself that whenever it was time to buy new syrups, for my coffees that I was also going to try to go sugar free. Um, I have had sugar free ones in the past, but I've never had like a consistent sugar free routine whenever it comes to the syrups. So I actually ordered from Tarani this time because they had more selection of uh, sugar free options. And all three of these actual flavors are brand new to me. I'm really excited. So I got vanilla bean. So I just, I, kind of had the feeling that i was like do i want to go back to caramel for a while or do i want to go back to french vanilla for a while um but i was like vanilla bean that sounds good and these are all sugar free um this one says with a complex flavor and earthy finish the syrup delivers the flavor of exotic madagascar vanilla beans with none of the calories so cool very excited to try this um and then i also got the classic hazelnut because this was hazelnut period was one of the little samples that i got for christmas and i actually finally tried hazelnut i don't know what it was in the back of my mind that i thought that i did not like hazelnut i know i love the flavor um but for years i just assumed that i did not like it but i tried the little sample and i loved it so i knew on my next syrup order that i had to get some more hazelnut and then this one was actually also very spontaneous for me so i got s'mores oh let me read the description of this this one says, with the perfect balance of sweet and earthy, this syrup is true to a traditional hazelnut liqueur, liqueur with no alcohol and none of the calories. So, cool. Um, but this was also very spontaneous for me. This is the s'mores. And so I saw this and I was like, you know what? I bet I would like that because I do, um, I did like the toasted marshmallow. Um, I've had that one a couple of times. This one says, with a toasted aroma, the syrup embodies the decadence of the classic campfire treat with none of the calories. So, I'm excited to try it. So yeah, guys, that's it. That is uh, my coffee haul. I would love to hear down in the comments, like, what drinks have you been making and loving? Are you classic? Do you only make one coffee and that's it? Or do you like to kind of change up what you're drinking um, like every few months like I do. I definitely love doing that because it lets me try new things and like I don't get bored over time. But that's it guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to make my coffee because I'm, I need it. I really need my coffee this morning. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.